So there I was, 3 a.m., Kaylee Linux open, hoodie up, feeling like I was one NMAP scan away from taking down the Pentagon. I was in the zone, fingers flying, terminal glowing, caffeine at critical levels, and then I did it. I typed rm-rf slash slash on my own box, as root. One second, I was a hacker. The next, I was watching my OS disappear faster than my social life during finals week. Welcome to hacking, where your biggest threat isn't the target system, it's you. Every hacker learns the hard way, that's the rule. You don't become elite by following tutorials and asking ChatGPT for payloads. You become elite by making mistakes so dumb they should be illegal in five states. You didn't read the docs. You forgot sudo. You nuked your box trying to pivot into another. Again. You tried to run a Python 2 script in Python 3 and then wondered why it looked at you like you were an idiot. You are. We all are. It's okay. Let's talk about some of the pain first up. Sudo or more accurately, sudont. Every beginner has typed something into the terminal and immediately been slapped with permission denied. So you go, okay, fine, I'll add sudo. But now, suddenly you've got root privileges and the power of a thousand sysadmins and the wisdom of a squirrel. Now you're out here deleting system directories because you thought sudo rm-rf was just a little cleanup job. No, my friend, that was a full-blown digital war crime. Pseudo is not a suggestion. It's a loaded gun, and you're waving it around like it's a glow stick. But the pain doesn't stop there. Oh no, because next you decide to use a tool. A new one. You're excited, it's got a GitHub page, you paste the command, and... Error. Again, you spend the next 20 minutes googling how to fix Python exception can't find module, when the answer was literally, uh, in the docs. But you didn't read them, did you? No, you just control f for install, and hoped for the best. Documentation is like seatbelts. Boring, annoying, but the only thing saving you from crashing into a wall when your command blows up your environment. Now let's talk about the big one, the box nuke. You've been scanning, probing, exploiting. You finally get in. You start tweaking a config file, maybe run a little post-exploitation script, and then... Screen freezes. Terminal disconnects. SSH? Dead. Netcat? Silent. You panic. You stare at the screen like it just insulted your mother. You didn't get kicked out, you didn't get traced, you just accidentally DDoSed your own shell by being too clever for your own good, you had the bag, and you fumbled it. But here's the truth. All of that, that's the good stuff. That's the secret no one tells you. Failing, breaking things, misfiring commands, wiping your own VM. That's the education. That's how you actually learn. Nobody remembers the time their payload worked on the first try. They remember the time they spent three hours trying to exploit the wrong IP or bricked their whole install because they fat-fingered a flag. You don't become dangerous by doing everything right. You become dangerous by doing everything wrong and figuring out why. And if you're tired of making those mistakes alone, wandering through outdated tutorials and hoping one of them pays off, there's a better way. Most hackers stay broke because they waste time on random tutorials. Think you're not good enough? Doesn't matter. We teach you from zero to earning. That's exactly what we break down inside Cyberflows Academy. No fluff, no outdated theory, just the real skills that get results. Web hacking, bug bounty, reverse engineering, and full ethical hacking, all taught step by step, so you actually know what you're doing. We even have a private community where hackers share exploits before they go public, so you'll see exactly how others are landing four-figure bounties and how you can do the same. Some members have made back their investment in weeks, others have turned hacking into a full-time job. Click below, get inside, and start making hacking pay. So yeah, you didn't read the docs, you forgot pseudo, you nuked your own box. Again, and you're going to do it all over next week. That's okay. That's hacking. It's not clean. It's not polished. It's controlled chaos with a side of caffeine and self-loathing. Just snapshot your VM next time, yeah?